Welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen. I'm Larry the Pen Bug Guy. Yes, you probably seen me in some prior videos wearing my cool black and white polka dot shirt and my cool bow tie. I thought I would do a few videos today and just keep my same shirt and bow tie on in my glasses. So, on with the video. Today I'm going to talk about two pens today. And then the other two will be on another video. They're the Pilot Parallel Fountain Pens. And uh, the sizes I have is a, <clears throat> excuse me, 6.0 millimeter, 2.4. This one's a blue, and this one is the orange, when you call it, or yellow. Orange. Orange. And this one here is the green one, the 3.8 millimeter, and the 1.5 red millimeter okay so these are for today these are for another day and how they come in your box you'll they come with a two ink cartridges uh, I think a blue and a red take it back a black and a red and the green colored one. So, I'll set these aside and we'll get talking about these pins. And they are really fun, fun pins. Even for thinkers or newbies, you're getting into calligraphy also. Great pins, a lot of fun. The Pilot Par Parallel. And they make a really a great fun calligraphy pen. And and they're more improved and sharper handwriting than the existing calligraphy pens. And I have some other ones, not this band, but different models. And that is true. Also for handwriting, it just depends the size of the nib as well. Uh, and we'll get to that in a minute. Each pen comes with a black and a red ink cartridge. A converter to flush out the pen and nib. Uh, a Pilot Con 40 would be the converter you would use for this pen, but they're sold separately. They do not come with a pen. So the body color is how you see it here. That would be a silver, gray, more of a gray tone to it with a green top. And this one has a red cap as well. Uh, on the cap, the twist off cap. And back here on the back, it has two arrows, one going this way, one going that way. And I assume that is for telling you how to twist, maybe. On the top of the cap, there's really no clip. But it has this little curvature on top of the clip. On top of the, excuse me, top of the cap. And on the finley on top, it does tell you 3.8 millimeter. That's how big your nib is. As you go down the barrel, it does have pilot parallel pin. Nicely done in there. And it does get narrow at the end of the barrel. Uh, the material for these pins is a resin with a body and cap. It's a screw off screw on cap and the nip size on this one is a 1.5 and this is 3.8 and the overall length for these pins is a uh, 168 millimeters or 6.6 .6 inches and the overall weight for the pin either one they're all the same 10 G's or 0 0.4 ounces the maximum ink capacity with a cartridge is 1.17 mils 
and with a converter it would be 1.37 bills. Also, for you eyedroppers out there, this would make a nice one. The eyedrop on this pen, the ink capacity would be a whopping 4.03 mils. Not bad. So, let's get the Rhodia Dot grid out and give it a spin. Like I said, they're fun pens. They really are. Now, we'll first start with the 1.5. Now, remember, they do not post. And real quick, before I get to writing again, there is the cartridge pilot. And to make an eyedropper, remember to put some silicone grease around the threads before you seal it up. If you don't, you might have an accident. Eesh. So here we go. Are you ready for the show to begin? 1.5 coming at you. I love it. I really do. It's a lot of fun. Isn't that cool? You get wider lines variation when you go down with the downstroke and thinner with a cross stroke. Do a few S's. And look at that. Nice, nice, juicy wetness. Love it. So either way you turn the pen, you can write with it. Interesting, fun pen. And we'll get back to it again in a minute. So... We'll do some writing with this little jewel. This is a bigger nib. And as you see the nib, they're straight across. Bigger nib. Wider nib. 3.8 mil. millimeters. That's a big one. It really is a lot of fun, this pen. Uh, I bought these pens from Pen Chalet. I'm sorry, I bought these pens from Ghost Spot Pens. Yes, that's where I got mine at. So we're going to do it again now. Now we're going to mix it up and really have some fun.
lot of fun just doodling, doing nothing. And we're going to do some coloring right here. Believe it or not, when I get depressed, down, or I feel bad, I'll make my way here to the pen room and I'll get these little bitties out and just do this. And just color and just enjoy myself. So after the ink runs out, you know, of course I'll use the other uh, cartridges. And then what I'll probably do is I'll ink up those same cartridges with some different inks, some fun inks, and do the same thing over again. Uh, and I may try to do an eyedropper. It just depends on my mood. And... Uh, The 6.0 will be an interesting nib. Be a big nib, would you think, Mr. Announcer? Oh, yeah. And the 2.4. Smaller nib, but a nice nib. So the 6.0 millimeter is the biggest nib, making the 3.8 next. Then the 2.4 mil next, last but not least, the 1.5. Great fun calligraphy pens. They're a must for any calligrapher collector or people that just like to make different kind of cool letters. You can do that with these pens. Just doodling. What do y'all think about the pens? Affordable? Yes. A lot of fun? Yes. They feel comfortable in the hands? Yes. Great colors? Help you pass the time of day by? They're just a fun, cool pen. So, that's going to complete this video for today. Thank you for joining me with my Pilot Parallel Calligraphy Pens. They say thank you, thank you. Leave me your comments below. Do you have any of these pens? What do you like about them? What do you not like about them? Leave your comments below. Last but not least, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Feel free to do so now. Hit that subscribe button. And if you hit that little bell, it'll notify you every time I put on another video. Thank you very much. God bless. Stay safe and don't text and drive. Peace, love, out. Take care, guys.